There's the Harris Corliss engine from that previous video. We've got John here. We, we have determined this linkage that controls the valve cam trips. The cams were put onto the admission valve bonnets backwards. So let's see if so the... originally this was up here. Well, I can... Yeah. And this rod was above there. But I believe that with well, this existing can... bend, it should be able to... We can determine, right? Because here's here's how we do it. This is a an inside tripper, right? Because this way is open and this way is closed. So when the valve is on the way up, the trips will go further out to reduce cutoff when the governor goes up, and they'll come further in to increase the cutoff length, right? So when the yeah when the governor goes up, the trips should move outward. So let's see, when the governor goes up, this arm will come that way, this arm will come that way, which means the trips are going the wrong way. So I think, yeah, I think that this, they're both upside down in that case. Well, that reverses this as well. Yeah, so that this arm has to come up uh, top, yeah. which makes sense due to where the crank lands anyway. That, mm -hmm. that angle does not work. Got the dynamo here, we're going to run with it. Move the, uh, yeah, the yeah, they're so dreadfully in the way. The screw is also dreadfully in the way. Yeah, well, someone really bollocks this up. But most people don't understand four valve steam engines or how they work or how they go together. So that's why that's why things are like this. Someone probably took it apart for some other reason when they put it back together, it was wrong. Okay, that gets that nut off of there. I can slide this out. Yeah, there you go. Swap these. You on there. So just be careful that when you turn it, you turn it the right way. I don't think you can spin them all the way around. So the one on the right, the head end valve has to, the one has to go back the way it came. This one, we'll see. So how yeah, you see this? that? Look at that. This is much better. That's a much better control angle for so that. So this needs to go back up? Yeah, this, the way it came, I think, this way. Yeah. Because otherwise, with some of these cordless engines, you'll actually drop some of the latch parts out if you do it wrong. Gotta. Right, I'm just gonna take this linkage out. So you can back gonna have to clean this. and oil the dash pots very carefully so that they work. Because if they don't work, the engine so will not. We have that on, like so. Yeah, right. So the okay. bend, so the rod should be the other way. Okay. The rod is upside down in how okay, it's bent. There we go. And this guy That's is missing a bad. missing a cotter bad. pin. I've got to get that fixed. And then you would go up here. That. Mm-hmm. Like that. This. That's. This hole is threaded for some reason. Yeah, there's a lot of... The other well, one, actually, no, the that other makes sense. Just... That makes sense because the nut will act as a lock. Yeah. The screw won't come out. Without that, the nut wouldn't do... Well, in that case, I guess the other ones aren't threaded and they're stripped, so... Yeah. Well, on an 1860s supposedly engine, I'm not surprised, especially something that ran. You can't, can't really account for what people do. All right, so let's try that... Oh, I think, yeah, 
Yeah, look at that. That's right. Plays it out. That's right. So the cams, right? The little cam lobes go outwards when get this nut back on. When the governor head cans. goes up, we don't have anything falling off. Yeah, it's gonna be difficult to get back in there. It's a shame I don't have good light. Take a, yeah, so, take a look from here, from around this angle. That's what I just did. Yeah, I see it. I can, I can barely see it. You got a flashlight? Um, we have a plug around. We can plug one of these lamps in here. Yeah, somewhere. I don't even know. But anyway, so let's see. Lift the governor. Yeah, that's correct. You did it, John. Gonna have to. Helps you will have to move it here if you can move it here. There we go. <coughs> anyway, yeah, look at that. So now that cam lobe and that cam lobe go outward, which means that as they come this way, they will meet the, the, uh, the trip latch of the coreless gear sooner. That's exactly what we want. That's exactly what we want. Oh, shoot, if only I had a steam source right now, I'd give it a give it a whirl. Yeah, this dash pot here is sticky. I have to see if there's check valves in the bottom underneath them because they're supposed to have vacuum checks. Here, hold this camera. So if we hold this. I don't, I don't think it'll trip because the dash pots are too sticky right now. But yeah, you see, the latch is going over where it's supposed to. Drops it, yeah, so we mm -hmm. got to clean, yeah, clean and oil the oil pots. Oil. But that's great, that's done, perfect. Right. Thank you, John. Yeah, so steady work, we're going to have a, a dynamo, I think a, uh, maybe a, one and a half horsepower.